but it came to Africa as a whole in the 50s, way back. And it came to Kenya, Uganda, maybe in the early 50s, late 50s, around there. Then I kind of developed this fragmentation technique around it, which makes it very unique. Actually, I use wax to give me patterns which the dyes break up into uh, half tones, and it becomes that uh, kind of a different style in its own right. My name is David Hibuka. I'm an artist and an instructor and um, I teach most of the modern batik technique. Today we begin the first day of the three days workshop in modern batik art here at the Ugandan German Cultural Society in Kamocha, Kampala. The workshop comprises of seven deaf artists that include painters, interior designers, fashion designers, sculptors, and jewelry makers. This workshop has been organized by DefLink Uganda in partnership with the Ugandan German Cultural Society and Mr. David Chibuka, who is also the instructor at the workshop. The Ugandan German Cultural Society is now 30 years old. It was founded in 1989 by some few Ugandans who were very interested in uh, yeah, the German culture and language. And also the cultural department has grown, of course. We have been growing in our numbers of the team and we're trying to support the, the arts on the ground. We're giving workshops, we are doing corporations, but we also want to portray the contemporary picture of yeah, German cultures. So I'm teaching them this uh, technique, which is the modern batik technique in its nutshell. And um, it has components in it. It has, in, uh, it has uh, introduction, it has, uh, which is beginners. Then there is um, um, intermediate, advanced, and masters. So that in its, in its entirety is the, is the train, the trainer component. So they've just now been introduced to the beginners component, which is mandatory. Because without it, you can't know how to proceed. I've done pots and decorated them with patterns. It's a symbol of a beautiful culture from Western Uganda in Barara. People in this region love pots. These three days of modern batik art have been so exceptional. I must thank our instructor David Chibuka for the hard work. Other deaf people must come and learn this technique because it's the best for the future. It's actually not hard, it's very simple. There's no way you can learn without sharing. There's no way. And when I share my skills to these youth, they kind of give me, uh, there's a lot of things I get. First of all, peace of mind, but also to see empowering generation next. I'm a fashion designer and also do screen printing. 
For example, I splash colors on t-shirts, a bit like painting on clothes, to brighten them up. I made a drawing of drums, a symbol of culture and dance, because Africans love to dance, to make music in northern, western, eastern, southern, different cultures, they always use drums. When I studied fashion and design, I never studied this technique. It's the first time I'm learning modern batik art. Learning this, I feel very good. It's giving me great skills. Drawing designs, using works, and toning. I'd like to thank DefLink Uganda for partnering with the Ugandan German Cultural Society for advocating for us to participate in this workshop and also David Chibuka, our instructor, for accepting to train us. The workshop is giving the deaf artists opportunities to expand their creative skills and talents. It's giving them self-confidence and enabling them explore a new form of art, which is modern batik art. We therefore appeal to anyone to come on board and support the continuation of skills development for the deaf artists, so as to empower them with additional skills to become future trainers of trainees.